All right, here's a quick example of combining like terms. Uh, we've got 3x plus 6 plus 7 minus 8x. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to get my like terms uh, reorganized so that they're next to each other. So I've got a 3x and a negative 8x. I'll put those next to each other. 3x, be careful when you move this. This uh, 8x needs to stay with this negative sign. So it's not just 8x, it's actually negative 8x. So we have minus 8x. And then we have our constant terms. We have a positive 6 and we have a positive 7. Now that we have those reorganized, we can combine those. 3x minus 8x is negative 5x. 6 plus 7 is positive 13. We've got the variable term in front, so we're happy with this answer. Do me a favor real quick and try these next two problems on your own. We've got negative 4 plus 3x minus 1 minus x and negative 8x plus 2 plus 5x. Do those on your own. So hit pause, do those on your own, and then unpause it to check your work. All right, at this point you should have both of these done. Uh, I'll work through them really quickly. First on uh, this first one we have uh, like terms to reorganize. So we've got a 3x and a negative x. That 3x is positive, so we'll write it as positive 3x. The x here is negative, so that'll be minus x. Then we've got our constant terms. We have a negative 4 and a negative 1. So we'll write that as negative 4 and negative or minus 1. 3x minus x, then, those combine to become, well, let's see here. We have 3x's. We're subtracting an x, 1x. So how many x's do we have left? We have 2x's left. Then we have negative 4 minus 1. Right? They're the same sign, so they're going to get along. So they're going to add up to 5, but because they're all negative, it's negative 5. So we have 2x minus 5. Right? On this next one, we've got a negative 8x plus 2 plus 5x. So negative 8x plus 5x, uh, we can combine those two things, so we'll reorganize that. Negative 8x and the positive 5x. Then the only thing that we have that's sort of the lone man out here is that positive 2, those two ones. Now we can combine like terms. We have negative 3x, and we still have those positive 2 ones.